We are already dealing with sweltering temperatures in the Tampa Bay area, so Floridians and visitors alike want to be here in the Gulf of Mexico. But it's what's lurking underneath the water that has some very nervous. We don't see this species of shark here too often, but Dr. Robert Huter from Moat Marine Laboratory says tis the season. This is hammerhead season here on the, the western coast of, of South Florida. Um, hammerheads show up here around March and we have them until about July and they're in our coastal waters right now, very large animals, sometimes more than 12 feet long. They never form big groups, um, unlike some of the other species of sharks, like black tips that will come through in, in aggregations of, of sometimes hundreds together. Dr. Huter says they're here to feed on fish and stingrays and females are here to give birth, but there's no real reason to be worried. Hammerhead bites aren't common in Tampa Bay. Basically, you just don't want to get in between a hammerhead and its food. That's probably true of any predator. You don't want to get in between a predator and its prey. Floridians and visitors should be cautious of all types of sharks in our waters. Dr. Huter gave us a few tips on how to not attract a shark's attention. And even brightly colored bathing suits. I'm sorry to say ladies, but, but those real bright colored sort of day glow bathing suits, especially the uh, yum yum yellow colors, um, they, they are something that a shark can see at a distance. There's a lot more risk from getting stung by stingrays on our beaches than by hammerheads. For more information on hammerhead sharks and tips on how to keep your family safe this summer, check out the article below. In Sarasota, Daisy Ruth, News Channel 8.